So to balance this equation, H2S plus KOH, let's count the atoms up. We have two hydrogens, but be careful. There's a hydrogen out here. People often forget that. We have three, one sulfur, one potassium, and one oxygen. Product side, we have two hydrogens, one sulfur, two these potassium atoms, and one oxygen. I'll start by balancing the potassium atoms. I think that'll give me an even number of hydrogen, so that would be very helpful. If this number's even, I can balance this to do that. I could put a two here, one times two. That would give me two, then one times two for the oxygen. I'd have two of those, but let's update the hydrogen. So now I have the two here plus two times the one. That gives me four, so that kind of makes me happy because now I can put a two in front of the H2O, two times two, and that'll balance the hydrogen atoms. Two goes to everything, so two times the one here. That'll give me two oxygen atoms, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So one of the keys is try to get the hydrogens to an even number, and that'll make the balancing a lot easier. So when we have H2S plus KOH, this is an acid and this is a base. This is a neutralization reaction. So we do end up with a salt, K2S, and the water here. Sulfides usually are insoluble, but in this case, this is a group one element. This is potassium sulfide. So this will be aqueous. It'll be dissolved in the water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.